Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing another review. This is going to be the Nightmare on Elm Street Ultimate Freddy figure. So this is from the first movie, so first we'll take a look at the box. And so you have the cover from the first movie on there, as long as with the title. The side just kind of says the same thing. You got kind of like these, this fire, maybe some boiler room stuff. 30th anniversary Ultimate Freddy. I think this is one of the first Ultimate figures that they did produce of the line. So you got some of the pictures of the figure on the box as well. Not sure if you can see the ones on the bottom there. So you can see it just shows you like everything the figure comes with. More of the same stuff on this side. Uh, open up as most Ultimate figures. You just have a picture of what the figure is going to look like. It kind of like accessories. It's got this really nice sweater design on it. You can see. Not sure if there's a layers of lighting. Sorry. Um, but yeah, the bottom just got company stuff. And Top's got a really, really nice picture of Freddy. Look at that. That's cool. Alright, let's cut to the figure now. Okay, so here's one of the heads that comes along with the figure. So it's just when Freddy takes his face off, which I think is pretty amazingly detailed. You see it all. Let's try to get it really focused. Okay, so then the back is. I like these scorch marks they have on it, it just makes it like more burnt like he just got out of the fire. So here's kind of just the regular, this is like the normal face that comes with just kind of like a moody face and yeah, I'm too I'm tired, I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna have the sweet dreams of children. Um, so here is, I don't remember the character from the movie, but it's the first one that gets killed. He obviously cuts her face off and wears it to freak out Nancy. So it sticks right on. So you can wear that head. I'll do all the poses with the head after. Um, comes with two hands. This is just the regular one it comes with. Just kind of a regular hand. Uh, just kind of looks like it's, it's a little bit... Uh, it's not burnt, it's just kind of dirty. So a dark hand. Um, here is... Nancy's phone, which has the, it's gross, has a little tongue and mouth sticking out of it when Nancy picked, which is weird because I don't understand why this would come with a Freddy Krueger figure. Maybe if they did like an ultimate Nancy, which would be cool, like I, I would definitely add that to my collection. She is a hero of the movie. Um, and this would come with her because there's no reason to pose this with Freddy. Um, but for Freddy with his own tongue just making, making out with himself. Sure, why not? So then you got this hand, which I put on, which is in the infamous scene where he cuts his finger off to freak out Nancy. And here's my favorite head sculpt of the, of the figure. Why is it so dark, huh? No, I'm going to take it off, and then I'm going to show you. So here it is off. Sorry about that. that was just really dark. Here he is with the more stern looking face on. I swear to God, I don't try to put these in musical style poses, but they always seem like they want to dance. Also, I forgot the key accessory, the hat. So this looks amazing with the figure. So, try to do a close up. So, definitely looks upset. Um, it's not my least favorite head sculpt. I'm just not going to display it. I like more of like a playful Freddy because he's always trying to like freak people out and screw with their heads <laughs> or their faces um, so here's what it looks like with the mask on <laughs> it's so creepy um, so yeah so then so that one just sticks to the nose it actually sticks very well um, now I'll try with the no face sculpt on so unfortunately NECA has made it almost virtually impossible without a, like, some type of heat gun or something to get this head on because it, it just won't go on, it's being super difficult. But it's going to kind of look like something like that. Kind of crazy looking, pretty awesome stuff. So that's how that will look. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's actually just incredibly hard to, to get that on. Like this is the head I like. And it kind of goes on fairly easy with just a little bit of strength to it. That one will not pop on. So after it gets on a second, I'll show you articulation. So you got the knee joints that move very well. The feet, as the other ones, don't have much articulation at all. 
They have a bit, but they're just very stubborn. So the other knee moves the exact same, but they pose very nicely. Like they can do tons of tons of crazy stuff with these with the joints here. We also have the the leg joint right here. So it kind of it moves very freely, goes up to there. Oh, I just noticed that. All right, apparently, so you there's a part of the pants that unhooks here, and that broke from moving the joint too much. So fantastic. Um, but whatever. Do it like that, you won't notice the difference, but I'll try to fix it because that's kind of ridiculous. Um, start to notice, you can actually notice the ball. <laughs> that came wrong. Um, the, the, these, they are balls, but they hook up to the legs, but you can kind of notice them when you're, when you're positioning him in some, some position, so that's kind of upsetting. Um, so, the arm has, on this one, has basically there to their articulation. Not much. The wrist goes all the way around. This one, same articulation, not much. Even the claw doesn't move very much. You can't do too much with the claw. Um, something with these things that they come out bent sometimes. I Sometimes you gotta try and fix them yourself, which sucks. And they're super easy to break off because they're super tiny. The head obviously moves 600 degrees around, or 360 degrees around. Uh, but yeah, that's all the articulation for this figure. It's got some pelvic movement right here. Not too much, but a little bit. So you can position them in like various stuff, but nothing too crazy. Um, this is probably my, other than this part where it broke, which kind of sucks, this is definitely my favorite Freddy figure. That they've um, they've produced for the ultimate line. They've produced four so far. I do not have the second one yet, so I'll see how I feel when that one comes in. But that's how I will pose him. I will probably not put this hand on. I'm probably just gonna use the regular hand. Out of five, I give this figure. I give it a four. It's really good. It's a really good representation of Robert England as Freddy Krueger. Um, I think there's a lot of fun you can do with it. The box design is amazing. It's really fun to pose and display. So I think for any Freddy fan, this is a must pick up figure from NECA. And check out their 1 fourth scale figure, which I will review in a while. It'll be fun. But I hope you guys liked it. And come back and check out our other videos. Thanks.